Yo, what's the haps everybody? PK here and today I'm bringing you guys another DNA bomb. That means it's two in a row back to back. Hopefully I get a third one so we can be back to back to back. But <laughs> enough about that. I'm using the ASM one with the suppressor here, which is pretty garbage to be honest with you. The ASM one's actually super awesome. But the ASM-1 with the suppressor is not. It's kind of like the MSMC from Black Ops 2. I would recommend just going loud and proud, because the extra range really helps your, your damage output. You kill people a lot faster without a suppressor. So, anyways, onto the topic of the video, which has to do with the indirect killstreak buff that happened today. So, I think this has already been out for next-gen consoles like PS4 and uh, Xbox One. But basically, it made it so that non-OBJ kills are worth more points, which is cool, because before, if you killed someone, you know, just regular in domination off a flag, it'd be worth 50 points, which is trash when you're trying to get high score streaks, because let's say you want to get, um, I don't know, we'll say a, uh, a upgraded UAV, the one that I used to run before I, you know, wisened up and said, that's kind of stupid, which is the 1,000-point UAV with extra time, threat detection, and enemy direction. A thousand points. If you were going without cap and flags, it would take you 20 kills. 20 kills in order to get that bitch. Which is ridiculous. That's impossible. That's more than halfway through a DNA bomb streak. That's so unbalanced. And if you did cap flags, you weren't gonna get the DNA bomb. Who caps flags in the middle of a DNA streak? You're on a 20 kill streak and you're like, hold on guys, let me go cap B flag really quick. Uh, I don't think so. So maybe, let's say you cap the first flag, you cap B flag and you got a couple kills, you would get maybe 500 points. You still needed to get 10 kills in order to get that UAV. So now with this, you know, kill streaks are coming fast and furious. I'm seeing a lot more lethal kill streaks like Warhawks and uh, I want to say uh, Paladins up in the air. The only problem with this is the fact that System Hacks got buffed too, which is bullshit, because I'm literally getting skull fucked over here. That stupid ass blah, followed by that big fuck me troll sign in the middle of your screen is stupid. Every time it pops up, I can't see shit. I just kind of shoot blindly, especially if I'm in a gunfight. They automatically win. That's how it goes. So I don't know who the who's in charge here, who's the face. You know, we had David Vonderhaar and Robert Bowling. I think it's Michael Bolton. Fuck you, Michael Bolton. <laughs> you gotta nerf the system hack, man. That shit is too strong. I love that kill streak personally. I think it's really, really overpowered though, and I would love to see it get nerfed. Cause if you got three people on one team running it, uh, say goodbye to your mini map and just rage quit. Just <laughs> hit quit game. There's no shame in it, guys. Trust me. Anyways, uh, yes. Aside from that, I really, really like this patch though. You know, system hack aside, it's very. It makes it so that getting on streaks isn't nearly as hard, especially if you're running a UAV, which is probably the most popular kill streak still. If you're running UAVs, as you can see in this gameplay, I got my cycle of streaks maybe three, four times in one life, which is crazy. I would never have imagined that pre, uh, you know, patch. I'm really glad that this came to our generation. I'm really glad that this patch exists in the first place because it makes it a lot easier to hop on streaks. It makes the high lethal kill streaks a lot less useless. Like I can see myself using a is it even the Warhawk? I think it's called a Warhawk, or maybe I'm just stupid. But I would see myself using it a lot more often uh, now that this patch is out. Cause before, if it took you, I think it was like a 900 point, or no, it was like a 800 point. I think I want to say an 800 point streak. That's 19, 18 kills, something like that. No, maybe even more actually. Um, I don't know, it might be a lot more, but yeah, if it's that much and you only get like 8 kills out of it, not even 8, you got like 4, maybe 3 or 4 I want to say. Anyway, enough about that, I don't know why I'm ranting, but the, the kill streaks, the lethal kill streaks, obviously got a buff, which is cool. I would love, love, love for the system hack to get nerfed. Michael Bolton, you work on it, I'm going to bother you on Twitter, and if you block me, you will feel the wrath of all 15 people that watch this, you hear me? Yeah, yeah, better be scared, bitch. Anyways, what do you guys think of this buff? Do you like it? Are you against it? Do you also want the system hack to get nerfed? You know, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Anyways, this has been PK. Have a good day, guys. Peace.